Hello and welcome to another recording for my channel. This will be another stove video for the tabs and what they do for beginners. Okay, so let's move on. Well, we've done one video with the first five tabs here, another video for the next five along the bottom, and this will just be a basic one for what's up the side here. This one might be a bit long because I think these two have got a bit of information in them. Okay, so this map, the area map, is your direct area so outside of this is space which you can't see this galaxy map doesn't change it's basically going to show you the same thing no matter which map you're on the system list will light up once you're outside of the space it's pretty straightforward um, this here is color coded to be the alpha quadrant beta quadrant gamma quadrant and delta quadrant and as you can see I think if they haven't changed it too much uh, they have changed it so there used to be a little bit of a square here and a little um, little diagram to show you where the orange had been explored, but they have changed that now. Uh, we'll go out to space so I can show you the difference between the um, station map and the space map. Again, it's not much different, but it just helps to show you what you can do with it. <clears throat> okay. Come on, you can do it. You know you can do it. Okay. So again, as you can see here, the area map is now, that's Deep Space Nine, which you are inside. Now you're in the area around Deep Space Nine. And again, the galaxy map hasn't changed. And because you're not out in the galaxy, you're still within this one map. Your system list has not um, lit up. So let's go out to space, actual um, galactic space, and see what we can see that's different. Okay. Now your area map is the sector you're in, which is the um, Alpha Quadrant. So this whole sector here is the Alpha Quadrant, that's what's on your area map, that's the area you're in. The system list is a list of everything that's in this actual sector of the galaxy. So this actual map is somewhere you have to cross over to load another map, so these systems aren't accessible through here. So once you get to the edge, you can go into this map. I believe uh, Deep Space Nine Wormhole will bring you to the uh, Gamma Quadrant. If you get to the Delta Quadrant, you can see here the pink line, which is a uh, wormhole, uh, artificial wormhole or transwarp conduit, depending on how you want to look at that. Um, and that's the way you can get around. I don't believe there are any other like wormholes from uh, Deep Space Nine to the Delta Quadrant, but if you do have the trans warp, you can see I don't actually have access to it just yet. But once you update your um, research, you can actually trans warp directly to a particular region. But there's only like one one system within the entire Delta Quadrant, so you've got to be careful where you need to be and where you want to go. Sometimes it can be quicker just to travel from the system to the wormhole to go up there than it is to travel from where you are to the edge here to fly all the way across the sector. But as you can see, for each um, each level of mapping, there's a different, slightly different um, effect. So that's the area of the the sector you're in. That's the galaxy map, which doesn't change. It just constantly lets you know where you are and what's happening. And the system will only pop up if you're inside a galactic area. Okay, so let's um, approach Deep Space Nine again. Uh, this is my Gamma Recruit, so I'm basically focusing everything around Deep Space Nine just to make it easier. Again, if you'd like me to see my Gamma Recruit travel around, I'm more than happy to do uh, videos from different points, but this is the official uh, headquarters for the Gamma Recruits, as um, Federation has the Sol Starbase and the Klingons have the Homeworld, the Romulans have the Flotoa around New Romulus. Flotia, Flotoa, I'm not exactly what the pronunciation is. I think it's Flotia. Okay, so let's get out of this transporter room. I do like to stay in this general area because you've got your bank and exchange and your uh, starship area, so I can actually explain different aspects of these uh, tabs if they need it. Okay, so we've explained the 
big display map. Okay. Your character. Okay, so your character, and I'll just close this off, and your inventory, which is directly below it, will actually activate at the same time. So that if you want to transfer things around, you can. Okay, so status. It's basically what your character is. Uh, what they have equipped at this point in time. Any sort of um, kinetic resistance is basically from your vest. And you can see it all drops down. So depending on what equipment you've got attached is what your stats will change. Um, basic status will be for everything from your the ship you're currently using. So when you change the ship, this will all change with it. The uh, shuttlecraft you have available and then your crew. And again, you can see the difference is just there. Um, the crew do not get uh, kit modules. That's pretty much the only difference, but they do have the body armor, the shields, the weapons, and the four devices. So, the body armor, shield, weapons, and devices. And again, they've got one weapon, whereas you've got two. So, your main character does have a few more benefits from the rest of the crew. Skills. This is different, again, for your main character and your crew. So, uh, when I created this character, this was all pre-programmed in. So you can see that the engineering has got a few. Tactical is the main one that is active here because it's a tactical player. Um, and then ground again has been chosen. And then these two have been preset. And I've got five more points. I haven't actually um, done much. I've gotten up to 65 just from playing the two main missions. As you can see, I can spend five points wherever I like. I do like to start off with pilot because I do like to do a lot of space battles and pilots the main one I stay with. Okay, so that's your status, your skills. Uh, when it comes to the ships, it doesn't change because it's your main character, but once you get to your crew, that's where it changes. Um, with the skills, you can use your R&D to uh, build certain modules. Uh, you've got to build communication pads first and then a component you need one pad to actually build one training manual and that's where uh, quite a few of training manuals will come from another lot I'm not entirely sure where it is on Deep Space Nine but I'll have to do a quick run around later on and do that um, you can actually buy a whole heap of training manuals from a supplier and that's where a lot of the other um, training will come from so you can see here that everything's unlocked on this character, and then I think on this one it's just the intelligence, because that's what they are. So they're an engineer, but their specialty is intelligence. Oh, there it is down the bottom. Um, so with this, well, I don't know, with this one here, uh, it came unlocked with everything. So it's a basic tactical, and then they've unlocked everything else, the command specialty, the intelligence, and everything. And uh, you can you can spend an entire video just going through the level one, another video going through level two, level three, level four, and that's with tactical, command, intelligence, miracle worker, pilot, and temporal observer, ob observer, operative, temporal operative. So that you can see there's uh, four, le uh, eight levels because there's space and ground, one through four, one through four, and then there's five specialties plus the main thing that's six times eight uh, that's how many videos you could do on this and as you can see with the basic one here tactical you've got basically a full screen go to the next one there's more than a full screen and the next one more than a full screen and then it drops down again because there's less high level so you can see that the videos would be pretty long and intensive going through every single um, attribute you can have and then because the game's constantly updating, you'd have to update those videos on a constant trend as well. So let's go to traits. So again, with your main character, you can choose a whole heap of traits. With your crew, there's only four. So they're the four. Uh, and again, you can go through every single trait. They're always updating them, so I won't go through every single trait. Uh, this character doesn't have every single trait because it's a new character. Okay, and again, you got more information. No information there because it's your main character. So you got uh, personal ground traits. You got nine active, and these are all the different ground traits you can choose from. The ones that are ticked are highlighted as well with a, a square around the 
uh, border around the um, the selection, so you know which ones are active. Then when you go to space, you'll see that this changes to a spaceship. And again, the ones that are active, you can mix and match as you wish. Uh, with these, uh, these are things you collect throughout the game. Oh, uh, and I think uh, these ones actually do change depending on whether or not you're a tactical science and so forth. So starship traits, space traits. So you can see you got 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 different traits for space. Then you got 9 and another 15. Actually, no. Sorry. Um, this one can be space or ground, depending on what you activate. Um, and there you can see you got the ground, space, space. And again, going through all these traits would just take too long. But basic, um, if you want to learn, uh, go through them and you can see which ones are active here. You can see, just click on it and it'll highlight, bring it to the next one. You can just close these down. But I like to have anything that uh, puts out extra weapons damage. So this one doesn't have that with this particular one. Um, anything that can take a bit more damage, so you can take a bit more damage and last a bit longer, is also a good one to take. But everyone's got their own gameplay. Stations is basically for your ship um, and your uh, shuttle. There you go, small craft. And the ship. And station is also the crew that will beam down with you. You can select which four you want. I like to number them um, if I can, but the main ones you can't actually change their name. But with this one here, you can edit the name, change it to suit you. So I might just call him first, and then I'll know that when I go on a away team, I'll select first, second, third, and fourth, and there, therefore I know which ones I'm taking with me at all times. Um, the four I claim as my first, second, third, and fourth will always be um, maxed out with their skills. I'll try to get us get one of each um, manual to train them in everything. Therefore, they're very versatile. I can change them to suit what I need. Um, also, I like to have uh, uh, sets of four. So I might have a set of four with a particular set of weaponry and armaments, and that will fight purely Klingons, um, then I'll have another set of four with different weapons and armory and they'll uh, fight the Voth sort of thing. Um, haven't really done it too too uh, in depth yet, but I'm hoping to do that. By the, end, by the time I finish having this character fully fledged out, I'll have uh, a set of uh, six main ship ones that will, I, when it comes to stations and different ships, I can have them all doing whatever I need them to do. And then I'll have a ground set where I've got Two or three different sets, I guess. Uh, don't really need too many because um, the weapons, once you get the weapons up and high, they're pretty good. Okay, reputation. This would be a very long video, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can see here by clicking on these, you will go through and see exactly what you'll get for each one. This, These uh, three here were uh, maxed out when I started the game, so I don't actually need to do anything. Um, but the others, I still got to... Um, max out. To get to your reputation you can just play through uh, the episodes which will give you a little bit of uh, reputation from doing them but the main source of reputation is going to be oh, wrong tab, will be the cues. Uh, we'll see here how you've got um, let's see if I can just make this a little oh, that's as small as it's going to get oh, that's as small as that's going to get Okay, so the Gamma Recruit here, I've done this in a previous video, but because I'm coming from the other side of it, we'll look for Gamma. Uh, again, Gamma, there's only one particular mission for this so far, because it's uh, just started. Uh, New Romulus. Romulan marks. There we go. So there's a lot more to choose from. There is a half hour cooldown, so you'll play one, then you'll play another, and then you'll play a third. And by the time you've played that third one, the sec the first one should already be timed out and you can start playing it again. So you just choose your favourite three. If you want to get Romulan marks, you just choose the three you're more comfortable with. Again, I don't do ground, so I'll take out the ground and just do space. Um, and that will just help you get uh, more marks for your uh, reputation. Also for some of them, uh, particularly the Romulan one, with the episodes of New Romulus, here. Each one of these is an area map of the actual new Romulus uh, staging area for uh, building the Romulan uh, secondary homeworld. 
and each one of these is basically uh, you can get marks for it uh, and um, research tokens which help you uh, build certain research as well um, so that's pretty much how that works uh, each one comes with its own uh, set very well purple equipment very well purple resilient shield so that resilient shield will work in conjunction with um, a, an armor and a uh, a hand weapon and then you'll get a set from that and each one has at least one uh, space set and one ground set and then you've got a lot of um, uh, ex uh, one use items where you can actually let's see if we can see what we got here uh, the store okay so you can get anti-borg anti-proton blasters anti-borg so basically these do a lot more damage against the borg than actual um, other stuff like uh, other weapons would normally do consumable so basically uh so when you get knocked out by the borg you actually get assimilated for about 30 seconds and then um you get your character back but your crew will turn on you and shoot you if you attack them so this will be very good so it's a one use you use it and for i don't know a couple of minutes normally it has a uh No, it doesn't have a timer on it. Normally, tells you how long it works. One second recharge. That's a consumable. So once you use it, it's gone. Um, again, uh, knocking out the Borg. So these are all anti-Borg particular sort of things. Prosthetics. Duty officers. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is what I'll normally collect. Again, I will only collect. Um, let's see if I can get this to. See, that's a rare, so I will only go for the very rares. Sometimes when it comes to things like this, if I've got enough space, I will take the rares as well, but I always try to go for the, the purples. Let's have a look at this one. Um, store. Sonic Anti-Proton. EV Suits. Whoa, okay. As you can see, there's a lot to choose from. This is not something I would hoard because uh, they're very minimal in difference Ready and it's not. Get lucky. That was Lita, not me. <laughs> Just want to make that clear. Um, so you can see there's a lot of different uh, possibilities. Again, if you want to. Uh, I think Nikuru is. Um, uh, what are they called? Uh, so. They're so. Uh, I hate that I have a brain freeze. It's the one of the most common oh, Tholians. Tholian web. There you go. Tholians. So these weapons work very good against Tholians. So like I said, when I build my crew, I like to have a set of four with a particular we weapon set. So I'll have a one that will fight Tholians, and I'll probably just call them Tholian. Um, Tholian Guard. You know, they'll be their name. They'll be the Tholian Defense Force. Um... Borg Defense Force, and again, you'll just give them weapons that are anti-Borg. Um, things that help. Again, let's see. Chance to reduce time, torpedo recharge, there is nothing. Uh, okay. This is your lucky spin. So you can see that the, um, the reputation has quite a lot of benefits, and you can see that there are so many different benefits. Uh, the event one is something that pops up every couple of uh, once a month or every two months there'll be an event that pops up and you can actually get a specialty um, ship a specialty vanity pet uh, special weapons or something like that um, again new character nothing active uh, the crystalline entity is a very common event that pops up quite often okay so that's your personal information there um, I'm going to move away a bit from there because Lita is kind of, yeah, yeah, Quarks is that way. Hopefully that will take Lita's voice out. Um, so when you click on that, your inventory will pop up. And I'll hop into here to show you the uh, inventory. Uh, oh, they took out all those extra people that were annoying everyone. Awesome. Okay, so your inventory... And your bank so this is stuff I've collected 
um, stuff I want to keep. I don't want to keep all these EVA suits. Again, I'll probably delete them all eventually once I get around to doing certain things. But these um, bound to character weapons are things I've collected from the Z store. So legacy yeah, unlock. Winner. Oh my god, that's I didn't realize the um, voice carried throughout the station. So yeah, so things like this where I've claimed this and I've got actually do I have the battler? Yeah, there it is right there, battler. Stuff I would claim and keep. So everything in here I'd keep except for the food, which we thought I'd once I've um, gotten clusters of twenty, I'd probably sell or use. Um, you can actually use those in a lot of the um, starbase building. I'm not sure if there's anything available. Dilithium, dilithium. Yeah. So sometimes you can actually um, submit food, but that's from early stages. So any of the late stages, you probably wouldn't need the food. Yeah, there's nothing about food here at all. So with your inventory, uh, once you um, filled up and you don't um, have any more space for anything, you can just put into your uh, uh, bank account as a backup. You can actually buy new ones for 200, uh, they're on special at the moment for 240, I'm not too sure what, I think it was 300 originally. And you can also um, buy more slots for your inventory. Um, if you do have, um, uh, uh, bonus packs, services the elite starter pack you can see here that for this for the um, character you uh, get the reclaim for once you've bought these elite pack you'll actually get uh, 60 bank slots 30 inventory slots and two bridge officer slots uh, bridge officers are these guys here and you just get two extra slots there is a maximum amount you can get as well but um, if you know how to use the um, banking system and the exchange to sell things that you don't need, you you should have enough space. Although, if you do play the same character a lot, why are they highlighted? If you do play the same character a lot, you will have to um, transfer from. Just say you want to get rid of these to make room. You just move them there, then move them into your uh, shared account. And then once you do that, and this gets filled up, you can actually open up your other character and empty that back into their inventory. So on a different character. And then um, you'll have a bit more space. So that's how the inventory works. If you, again, have too much stuff and can't exchange, uh, change um, profiles and all that sort of stuff, you just, you go to the, the section, put this in here, you just grab the item, place it there, hit search, so this one you can get about 13,000, so you want to go to sell, dump that in there, type uh, whatever amount you want to shove in there, if you want to get rid of it quick you can put it in for 10,000 just to sell it, get it over and done with, but you can see it's quite simple, it brings up uh, what, what you've got, um, you do have to be careful, see how that's blue and that's green, you just got to be careful, you just got to find the first blue one, scroll down and you can see here where there's a white one at 10,000 and there's a green one at 5,000 now the green ones a little bit more powerful 35 and 35 and the common is 32.5 so if you're looking to buy you've also got to keep a close eye on how that works and the first the first blue one is at 62 so I'm just gonna put there at 61 because um, Again, there's a lot in there, and you can, you're can you probably going to have a bit more chance of selling at a lower price. With that first one, there was only a few. Okay, so there's 62 of these. Again, this is green. So 5,000. Just pop it in there for five. Cool. And that's another way to clear out your inventory. Um, you might think, oh, I need, I really need. Let's have a look what we're selling. A graviton deflector you might think oh, I really want to keep that I really need it I've only played the first few missions and I've got this um, you can buy them again you can buy them uh, cheap upgrade them with your upgrade uh, progress and get better equipment uh, you might actually upgrade that to a dump something and you might think uh, I don't like the benefits it comes for comes with it like the whole capacity gives you a few more hit points on your hold, you might want shield capacity. So 
You might get another Graviton Deflector and upgrade that and get the shield capacity. So that's another thing you've got to look at. But early on in the game, you just want to sell all the excess stuff because there's no point holding on to it early on. You're, you're going to be getting a lot more of this playing the game. If, you're a lot, if you play the game a lot, you're going to get a lot of this equipment. Um, and you don't want to have three or four of the same thing if you only need one. Um, for the most part, and as you can see, it's just starting out already. I've, I've already gotten uh, something that's worth about 100,000, 120,000. So I'm going to put that in there for, let's see what, there's 46. So I'll put it in there for 120,000 and see what I fucking get. And just so you don't accidentally put it in there for 12,000, you could, the game order makes you put a comma in there so you can actually make sure you get the right price. Uh, just make sure you don't go get ahead of yourself and click post before you check that. So this is the inventory. Again, R&D is, is just like your inventory, but just for your science stuff. All the stuff that's needed for the upgrading and your R&D um, projects. Assets are pretty good again. Oh, wrong tab. Overview. So this overview shows you uh, where you are with your um, duty officer updating. Um, how many crew you have and so on and so forth and the assets will show you the energy credits you have on this particular character um, again with um, the bank account okay with your uh, account uh, shared account you can deposit every single credit you have again he's just started he's only got two new credits but I think overall I've got about 70, 000, uh, 70 million now because I've spent a bit on um uh, what do you call it? Training manuals, trying to get things sorted out on another character. But you can keep depositing. So here it says you are limited to having 2 billion energy credits. So if you've got one character that constantly plays and is getting up, you know, up there, you want to transfer all your credits to your um, account, uh, shared account credit. And then you can actually put that into another character that doesn't have any credits and then they can have a billion credits and the character you're constantly getting credits for then you can just keep rotating the, that out the more characters you have the better off you are with the credits and that's how your assets work so inventory is pretty straightforward you can buy more slots that's where you find your upgrade tab r d uh research and development so just where you have all your research stuff Assets give you a rundown of how many credits you have. Your reputation. Oh, wrong one. Your reputation, which is this here. So you can see um, from uh, Nutura. That's this one here. Because this is maxed out, I can now... That is not what I'm looking for. Oh. Okay, doesn't have it here. Okay, so now that this is all maxed out, I can actually start um, building the equipment, the sets. So let's have a look. As you can see, it's a harmonic vi environmental suit, crystal and sword, and personal shield matrix. So shield matrix and sword. So that's. Uh, a set you can get together. Uh, so yeah, once you uh, once you start getting points and you want to know uh, where you're at, if you want to, if you come here, you have to go through every single one. So there's zero there, zero there, seven there. Whereas you can just look here and it goes zero seven. You know, Nakuru seven. Boom. Okay. So that's part of the assets. Um, fleet credits, fleet marks. So that's to do with this. So every time you deposit something into a fleet, uh, I'll waste my dilithium just to show you. Boom. Okay, you can see that my fleet credits has gone up. So I can actually use that to buy fleet uh, things within the fleet. So if I go to my fleet starbase, I can buy a particular specialty item that is fleet specific. Uh, fleet marks is again um, when you do specific things you get marks for your fleet and you can see here you need fleet marks to uh, go to the next level you need every every single thing normally needs uh, fleet marks and or dilithium they're the two main ones so the fleet marks is something else you can uh, collect through your queue events uh, 
your queued events here. Um, let's see, is that the one? Close up mark. There you go, fleet marks. All right, look, there we go. So pretty much everything has fleet marks in it because it's a fleet. Most of these queues are five people, so you're going to be working as a small fleet. So fleet marks is what you'll get as a reward. Dilithium store. So again, that's this tab here will bring up the Dilithium store, as will this. And then once you get into the Lithium store, which you've already been through, um, you've got all the different specialties you can buy there. Okay, let's expand this out a bit. The exchange, again, um, well, we've already been through this on how to get your Zen and Dilithium in, uh, interchange them. So you can actually sell your Dilithium. So it's actually dropped to two Dilithium, so people are um, wanting less. And then you can actually swap it the other way around and uh, sell the Zen. So if you've got a couple of Zen, what do I have? I have 82 Zen. If I want to sell that, I can get 265 Dilithium per Zen. So I can get um, 80, 82 times 265. Well, there you go. Someone's already buying a whole heap. Um, and then your history of sales. And as you can see here, I've, I've been on the market quite a bit. I sell Zen for... Um, for dilithium, so I'd actually do spend real money for the dilithium because the dilithium in game is very uh, useful. It's, you can pretty much do a lot of uh, trading and buying of stuff with the dilithium. It's a very uh, uh, useful resource in the game. You also need uh, dilithium for. Let's see. You actually do need dilithium for upgrading. You will uh, whatever you upgrade will cost some dilithium to do so. Okay, I just want to get that done. Uh, gold press latinum. Um, this isn't really a high priority within the game. It's more for fun. Um, once you go and play Darbo, you, you use your energy credits. So you've got to have some energy credits active, which I've just dumped into the bank. Um, and you trans uh, you can actually change that energy credits into gold press latinum, or you can actually use gold press latinum and get gold press latinum. Uh, but this is basically uh, for buying trophies to say you've done the gold press latinum. So it's not really a major thing. It's more of a thing where if you're uh, a hoarder and you like to get all the, the special accolades and uh, rewards, this is something you'd go for. Selvage is, again, something for upgrade. You can hear re-engineer. So you use, um, just say you're not happy with the... Um, The benefits of this so this is critical damage critical hit and damage so when you do uh, damage you'll get a bit more extra damage from it you'll get a bit more critical hit will be uh, critical hit chance will go up and the critical damage you do will go up if you're not happy with those you can uh, re-engineer it and unlock a particular um, damage for it so let's see can I Oh, not enough resources. Okay. Well, I also think because it's a, um, a mission reward, you can't actually change it because... Um, mission re uh, Let's see. Not enough resources. Um, I just spent all my dilithium, put all my salvage. Yeah. But um, say you want to get this to have only damage. You just look for the damage. You hit damage. And again, damage and damage. So you get damage times three. And therefore, your critical hits and your critical damage will disappear. But your damage output would be from 58.7 would probably go up to like 70 points of damage. Because you just have extra damage upon, upon damage upon damage. And that's only for very rare. you got the ultra rare and then epic. So you can probably have uh, damage times five. I'm not exactly sure if there's a limit of uh, three or not because I've never actually messed around with this because um, I do a lot of gameplay with uh, messing with the um, research okay so that's the first two mail is straightforward um, when you want to compose you got to know the the name you can go to the fleet but sometimes uh, the fleet manager will not give you access to do a fleet-wide uh, message um, if you want to transfer something without the bank you can actually compose to 
Would you, I don't even know what my character names are. So basically, you type a name in here. Sometimes the little boxes will show up down the bottom, like these. And you just uh, click and drag the thing into the box. You message it. Then you go to your other character. You go to inbox. You accept that message, and then you'll um, you will actually get that equipment. Now you've got to actually go to a mailbox, and we'll just quickly sh show you this. Run, Forest, run. There it is access mail. So if you access mail here and delete it, you will do, you'll lose which whatever item is actually in that mailbox. You actually have to go to a mailbox brings up the exact same thing and then accept it if you don't do it this way you will actually lose the item i found that out the hard way i've lost i don't know how many items because i was just clicking 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 trying to get things done and i didn't find out for a while and i think i actually have lost um uh what do you call it a ship um a loot box ship which are quite expensive Let's just have a quick gander in here to see how expensive they are. Uh, let's see. Starship fleet module. Tr fleet modules, okay. Training manuals, upgrade, tech upgrades. Ah, loot box, there we go. Let's have a look and ooh, get rid of that. Search. Space nine. So these are just your standard loot boxes. Let's look at the most expensive. Sort descending value. No. Sort by ascending, descending price per unit. Tel Shiar lockbox. Okay, mirror incursion lockbox. So these are just lockboxes that aren't to do with ships. I'm just going to write ship here and see if that helps. I want to show you the price of a ship. No. Okay. Okay. Um, gem. Oh, damn you, shift button. Gem. Hada. There's no R there. Oh, they're lock boxes, not loot boxes. Dumbass. Why are you so dumb? Okay. Ah, oh, there you go. 1.4 billion T6 ship. So I've lost, you know, quite a lot of money because I'm pretty sure I accepted the mail more than once where something didn't sell. So I've, I've lost quite a bit. Um, I'm not going to whinge and cry and complain that I screwed up. You know, I screwed up. You really need to play the game before you start messing around with buttons. What else is there? That's the mail. That's pretty straightforward. Okay. Social. So this is basically your chat. Um, you can. So the, that's the level people are playing on. Details of uh, where they are. So you're looking at number one and number fifteen. You might be wondering what that is. There are a certain number of maps. So this this deep space nine. Uh, I'm not sure what number I'm on. I'm not sure how to find out. Okay, so I'm on Deep Space Nine, but I might be on map one. Your friend might be saying, I'm on Deep Space Nine, I'm here, is, come find me, I'm at the replomat or something. So you'll go there, they're not there. They might be on Deep Space Nine map two. So that's what these map numbers are for. Um, if you've got a thousand players playing at the same time, they're all on Deep Space Nine, you're going to be squashed in like sardines. So they've got a certain number of maps. A um, certain number of people join a map, and then another map will open up so that... Um, everyone can play the game without having to feel squeezed in so that's what that is okay this is um, pretty much just information about the game rearrange HUD so if you're not happy with where things are you can actually move them around um, so if you don't want anything in the middle you want this off to the side you just push it over there so therefore whenever something pops up you can actually see where you're what you're doing in the middle I just don't mess around with that you just hit escape on your keyboard and you're out options okay so uh, let's uh, here again where it says normal elite and all that sort of stuff that's where this comes in advanced and elite um, I think you get better rewards uh, higher payouts if you have them on advanced and elite 
but when you take damage in game, you actually take that damage to your respawn. So when you respawn on the map, get killed and respawn, your ship will actually have a bit of damage or your character will have a broken leg or something. And that's where you go to um, uh, a doctor or your account. Let's see, bank. Wrong one. Uh, here, hyperspray. This remove no. What is it? Hyperspray. Can't believe I don't have anything. Okay, so there's repair kits and repair modules for your ship and yourself. So when you take damage on these elite levels, um, you've actually when you respawn, you've actually got to check your. might only be active when you're actually um, elite but there should be like a little tab here that says uh, damage and then it gives you a list of what's damaged I'm not entirely sure I don't screw around with that sort of stuff okay so that's the options and again you can just change um, what sort of game you're on the audio so overall you can see the volume goes down goes up I like to have it low for the videos and again even playing the game that's more than enough voice chat so if you know how to set up your own microphone and all that that's what this is for display again depending on what your system is but this should re uh, automatically calibrate your system for you when you start the game graphics again uh, everything's on max or high just to get the uh, Christmas uh, uh, shadow and all that sort of stuff advanced again you wouldn't mess around with this unless you know what you're doing controls um, again all should be re, uh, preset for you. Keybinds are something you'll have to change to suit yourself, like uh, run. When I hit my uh, shift key, this pops up. I don't know why, but it starts and stops on its own. So I had to actually change it to the um, cap lock button, which is just above it, so that I can actually run without the um, this menu popping up constantly. Okay. Um, so you can actually change every every aspect of the game to suit your own little needs. Uh, there are certain keypads I've I've seen that are just uh, for gaming that are just uh, a wacky design I've never seen before. So you can see there are different ways to do. Um, again, the HUD you can actually change the size of particular things and where things are. So this is again that very first one. Uh, rearrange the HUD. This just changes different things within that. Again, not something I mess around with. I'm happy with the way the game is. I just play it. Chat, again, should just alternate these things. But I think you can, yeah, you can you can change things here as well. So you don't really need to get into this menu option. Simple, straightforward. This is information about the game in general. So this is the Victory is Life, which is, you can see the previous one was um, 14. Oh, they've deleted a whole heap. No? Okay, cool. Victory is life is pretty much uh, 15. So you got 14.5, victory is life is uh, um, season 15. I'm hoping with 15.5, you'll get uh, more options on uh, character builds for your character. So instead of just having Jem Hadar, hopefully they'll change the storyline a bit. You can have Vorta and um, other characters. I really wanted a Vorta science officer. I just was, that's what I really wanted to do, but apparently you can only get the Jem Hadar at this point. Um, there are two different types of gem hadar. The the one that is a um, a standard gem hadar, which is a foot soldier, so better ground combat, and the vanguard so uh, gem hadar, which is a um, a ship f uh, fighting gem hadar. And again, this just gives you all the, uh, a, a, a slight bit of information about the new uh, information that's come out with this patch or this upgrade to the game, and. Uh, Access library computer. Welcome to the Federation staff. Let's continue. Okay, and this is just basics on how to use different things within the game. That's true. Straightforward again. Again, these are just should be help tips are on. So I think that's when you do this. See, visit. Let's turn that off and see if that's what that is. No, it's still there. I'm going to leave that on whatever it is because it doesn't seem to have request GM help. So I'm not going to click on that because I don't need any help. Don't have any bugs, but you click on that. Actually, we won't. You choose what the problem, what you believe the problem to be. Um, 
So, uh, graphics and environment. So you might say, um, th there might be something here. So you might say, uh, when this first started, when you walked in here, there were like a dozen people just clustered in the middle, like sardines. They're just walking around in circles, bumping into each other. You couldn't actually cross the room, you had to go around them. So obviously someone said something to fix that patch, but um, that's pretty much a bug report. You just find something you can't work with, um, can't find the issue, create a new issue and go on. Uh, account support. Again, I haven't had any issues. View my ticket. So when you put a bug report in, you'll get a ticket. And when, uh, when they've fixed it, you should get an email uh, in your mail saying that I, I think I, again I haven't I don't think I've ever used this from memory I'm pretty probably have but I can't remember using it so view your tickets basically any active bug reports they haven't fixed yet or gotten around to they your, your ticket will be there but then again let's have a look yeah I don't know if it's this character or I oh, know see none of my characters have put any sort of complaint in okay well there you go that's straightforward and done so that's the uh, third video. Um, I'm not entirely sure how long it's gone for, so let's have a quick gander. 46 minutes, that's long enough. Okay, so the last video will be on these sort of things up the top here and what they do. Um, they're, not, uh, they're not there for use. It's basically there to tell you what's happened. Um, they're just uh, bits and pieces. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, again, I always say, if you've got a comment um, on how to make my channel better, I'm happy to hear it. I know I'm not the best. I know I stumble over my words a lot. Um, I know there are people out there who do better videos than I do. Drop Mission Endeavor. So I think in the next few minutes, another one should pop up. Again, uh, I recommend doing the endeavors as soon as you possibly can, but um, I'm spending a lot of time while I'm playing the game, doing the videos, um, instead of playing them, and uh, because of work and other obligations, I don't have time to play constantly, as much as I'd like to. Um, yeah, so if you have any comments, please leave them down below. I do take criticism. Um, someone's already... Um, okay, so this is what I was talking about with um, bringing up your... Nope, wrong one. Options basic options. So you want to change this to elite so that your ship will take damage. So when you uh, get killed and come back, you come here and it will say repair ship injuries and then it will come up with all these different things. You got your, um, oh, all your ships. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. And see, it's, there's nothing to repair because I haven't taken any damage yet. But I might leave that on so that when I do my next video, I can actually show you how that works. Uh, when, when I do my next um episode because I'm going to start doing episodes starting from Spectres and working my way through to the bottom. Uh, I've already done these few episodes and I want to get through all of this and again as I progress I will be um, upgrading my skill tree so that my pilot skills are maxed out and then I think it's temporal operative is the one I normally use because there's pretty good uh, options within these two. Uh, again if you're more of a um, uh, ground person you probably want commando which is basically for ground and uh, constables is pretty good I believe and intelligence I think is pretty good that, that's pretty good for space and ground that one but you can see there are different options to choose from so yeah any comments please leave them down below I do take criticism I just ask that you keep it civil in the conversations below um, if you have anything nasty to say just keep it to yourself it's it's I'm happy with criticism but just you know be growing up about it um, thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video